glorious day. I can feel it. It's a glorious day. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to one more episode of the Jungle Compound in the Escapists. This might be the day, ladies and gentlemen, I have a feeling deep down inside. This might be the day where they're gonna say we almost captured Chuck Noor. Not Jack Sparrow. We're playing with Chuck Noor. Let's respect this man that has been through so much to escape the freaking juggle camp. Water Gazer and I didn't get that name, but it surely was not me. Ladies and gentlemen, this might be the day where I'm gonna escape. I have a good feeling about this one. It's day 23. I guess it's as good as any other day to escape. But we've experienced pretty much all. We've experienced pretty much all, if that was too quick for you to listen. So we're kind of ready to go out, dudes. I can't wait to get my feet on the other side of the walls. Ladies and gentlemen, once again, this is probably the third time I say this. I've already tried this fake fence, okay? I was not recording, but for the sake of saving you time and my time, kinda, because I have to test it out. Either way, it didn't quite work. Now, some people warned me in the description or in the comment section of my videos. In the description. How can you edit the description of my videos unless you're a hacker? Please don't do it. Chuck Norris will chase you. I'm gonna get out of here because I have a lot of things to do this day because I do feel, oh lord, that I'm getting a lot of guard heat. I do feel it's a very good day and I have $99 and 99 problems. But escaping is not one. Let's get all of these illegal items. I don't want them here and risk a cell shakedown whatsoever. This looks like a very good day. Now, think fence. I've tried this out and it doesn't work, okay? It's confirmed, I've tried it. But someone told me that you could not place it on the place that you make a hole in the fence. That is not true. You subscribers lied to me. I don't want to leave any illegal items or any trace that a Chicknor has been in this prison behind. So I'm gonna take all the illegal items with me. I want to put this fake fence down the toilet. Good lord, it's clogged up. Do I have to fix that? I can't remember. I can't remember if that can bust you up or not. Oh lord. I'm gonna risk it. Life is made out of risks. So I'm gonna risk it. I'm gonna take this timber to the other side and... Ladies and gentlemen, lords and madams, we have a lot of stuff to do. As we do before escaping. So let's start it out. What I want to bring with me is a multi-tool. You remember that tool that we found how to make? We found the crafting note. I want to make that happen because it's only one slot. It's very sturdy. I've tested it out and to brick a wall down, to bring a wall down, brick a wall down. It's a wall of bricks, so that's why I mixed it up anyway. I have to improve this so that I'm able to go to the north part of the prison and bring down that place to pick up the unsigned paper so I can sign them in and deliver them to the south area of the prison. Why do I know this? I am a genius. No, I've looked it up on the web interwebs. People that already escaped. Seriously? People already escaped this prison and I'm still here? Despicable. So let's pick up a sheet of metal which we don't have so we must go to the other side. Let's pick up this roll of duct tape and the pickaxe. The pickaxe is something that we can already craft if more brain cells then die. So that's why we must learn a little bit more. Because that special place in my brain that had stored how to make tools is dead once again. I'm getting older. I'm getting older and that's a fact. Chuck Norris is getting older. He's 23 days older than he was when he got into this prison. And justice. It was unfair. It shouldn't be here. Is a prisoner of war? No. Is a hero of war. That's what he is. And he's finally getting out of here today. I have a good feeling. Again, I have a good feeling. This might go wrong. This might go totally sour. And I might regret saying all of this. 84. Now, for the multi-tool, I am pretty sure I need 90. So, let's go with that already. So that we don't have... What the hell is happening with my body over there? 
It looks like my cloth is ripped from my body. Look at that. I am somewhat Conan now, the barbarian. Well, I had a bat, but now I have a whip, so I'm more like Indiana Jones. I need a hat, not really to rip my cloth. Look at that. I'm pretty sure that's a bug. I'm cool. See? I know how to fix stuff. So I have 90. 92. That's enough. So let's use that. So pickaxe, roll of duct tape. Let's do that. Sturdy pickaxe. Now I need a sheet of metal. Sheet of metal. Sheet. Okay. Sheet of metal. Not really what you're thinking. Here we go. My English is strange sometimes, but I do know how to not mix some stuff. Dangerous stuff. English is trickery. It is trickery. Uh, there you go. Sturdy pickaxe and sturdy shovel. That little roll of duct tape makes the wonderful multi-tool. And we're gonna take this. We are gonna take this. It's the best tool out there to bring stuff down. Now, I'm not gonna use this plastic utility key. So what we're gonna do with this is... And I'm gonna leave all these items over here so that someone that wants to escape after me... Yes, I've said it. Escape. Do you mind that I say escape? Plea, for the sake of using it, because I got into bad troubles to get it. I'm gonna use this prisoner stash, or at least see what's in there. A lightweight shovel. Ha <laughs> ha! I already have one, so I don't need yours. Here, Adam Guy, take it. Take it all. Just take it. I don't need that shovel. Please do the gardening job, make a hole. Be happy making a hole throughout the rest of your remaining time in here, because I am out. I might need the red key. I know of someone that mentioned in the comment section of my videos that in the northern part of the prison layout, you have the unsigned papers. But to get there, to get inside the room that had them, has them, I need the red key. And if I remember correctly, the guy that had the red key was resenting. Presenting, you are my new target. So I'm gonna get you to give me the red key. I'm not gonna take it from you. You're gonna give it to me. I'm gonna force you. I'm gonna beat you so hard that you're gonna want to give me that key. Now, Chimin has the orange key. That's not the one we need. Am I actually able to beat a guard? I hope I am. Resenting, here you are, dude. Come over here. I'm gonna leave you in the infirmary, so it's better for you to recover. Oh god, there's another one. I might have just screwed up my plan entirely. I have to beat one this as well. Can I do it? Yes, I can! Because I am Obama! Problem with this is, I now have a huge guardian. And I can't leave this place. And these guys are probably gonna beat me a lot. How do I do this? I have 26 health. I can be shot only once. Let's heal up a little bit more. To guarantee. Wait, what? Backup arrives? Why? I've just beaten two guards. Can a man beat two guards in a prison? Okay, I'm gonna try. Ah! I survived! I have survived! What happened if I hide in here? Something strange always happens. Always. Now I have 98 guard heat. I don't want to lose my stuff. So what I'm gonna do is drop here all the good stuff I have. I'm gonna go naked outside. I don't even care. I just don't want to lose my stuff. And I'm gonna get down to 0% guard heat. Please shoot me. What we're gonna do tonight is at the last, very last roll call, we're gonna attend that so that the guard heat doesn't increase that much. We're gonna put a bad dummy in the bed. Bad dummy. If it's a bad dummy, obviously we're gonna put it in the bed. And this might be plan Z. I don't really want to call it plan B because I already had so many plans. But because the fence isn't working, what we're gonna do is that. We're gonna attend the roll call. We're gonna put a bad dummy in our bed. And we're gonna quickly run to our tunnel. We're gonna open the hole up 
And we're gonna have to be careful with the Jeep. Now, there's a Jeep patrolling the place, and we have to be careful with that. We could put the nails down, and that would bring the Jeep down. But no! <laughs> I was trolled once again. I tried that out, and nothing happens. It seems this Jeep doesn't use normal tires. It uses invincible tires. Man, I wish... I would have some tires for my car like that. Now, I'm gonna need a second jar of ink. I'm gonna bring the exotic feather and the jar of ink with me, so that when I escape out of the walls, I can just sign the papers myself. It's safe to go with the infirmary overalls, I think, but it's certainly much more safer to go with a guard outfit. So because I already have the infirmary overalls, I'm gonna paint those and make them guard outfit. These guys have no idea! What is about to happen? Ladies and gentlemen, Resantic, you have no idea. I need a letter as well, and I completely forgot that. Memory of a fish, ladies and gentlemen. No, memory of a kangaroo! That's settled. That's what I said in my last episode. So that's gonna be the new saying out there in the world. Man, I have a, a memory of a kangaroo. That's what people are gonna start saying. I need to get there to the meal time so that they don't suspect about a thing there we go this should grant me the red plastic key you know i could just bring the place down i could just go through the walls in that room and get the unsigned papers but i want to play a little bit safer so i guess this will make it so we are pretty much closer and closer to get the items we need let's pick up this we no longer are in danger of losing them I am the Sparrow's Journey, so we are always in danger of losing our items. I can tell you that much. So we're gonna have to bring this. So we have six slots in our inventory. We have to plan this accordingly. Now I have here one, two, three, four items already to carry. We had a fifth place, but we must count out that we're gonna pick up some dirt when we get out of here, outside the walls. Now you are gonna need that dirt, because if you don't place it in your hole and cover it up the jeep will pass through and it will denounce you it will denounce there's a hole there and it, they're gonna bust you so i must count on that i'm gonna pick this up cover my hole haha <laughs> so funny you guys are so funny covering my hole is actually covering the the hole in my wall you know i must have the most dirty subscribers out there because i feel the need of explaining this i shouldn't have the need of explaining this if you guys weren't that dirty Laser work period, this is the last time, the last chance I have to put everything ready. So let's do that and stop rambling. I have beaten Resentic once again. And I remember him in the comment section trolling about me. But I've beaten you in the game again. And I can beat you seven times more if I want to. Because you are in my game. I do control what's happening in here. So there we go. One, two, three, four, five items. But this one I'm gonna use. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring this plated prisoner of war outfit with me. If things go sour and I need to switch dresses in the middle of the escape. I say dresses, I know this is not a dress, but I like to play it as a dress. Because Chuck Norris is a gentleman. So without wanting to leave any traces whatsoever behind, I'm gonna give this to people like Kitsune, a bar of wood. Bar of wood, if that makes any sense. And who else? Julian Depp, you're gonna have my hammer. That's what I'm gonna leave you with. What about Adam Guy? Adam Guy, you're gonna have my grappling hook so that tomorrow after I escape you can escape right next and we can meet outside in a bar telling our tales of escaping that's amazing and how we beat Owen Odo how we beat resenting in all those people I need a bed dummy so why am I searching a desk I have no idea I need to pick this up the pillow as well and you know what to play it even safer I'm gonna put some blankets in my cell I'm gonna leave that for last. Let's prepare the bed dummy. Here we go. I'm gonna put it in my desk. And I have two bed sheets. I need one more to cover my whole cell. Here's what I'm afraid of. When they call for the morning, well, the last roll call, I wonder what happens if I try to escape and I have a cell search. 
Are they gonna find my bad dummy? I'm not sure of that. And I think that never happened to me. So we're gonna see how things roll. But we are pretty much ready. We're just waiting for the roll call and we are out of here. What we could do is... We already have the stash. Is there any other stash out there? There's a medical there. I could just explore that place. But uh, people kind of spoil me. Thank you so much! Not really. People kind of spoiled me and they told me the only thing you can find there is bottle of medicines, medic kits, or sleeping pills. And I don't really need those, or do I? Now I need to keep my fatigue to the minimum so that I do my dirty stuff when I'm getting out of here. Dirty stuff normally wastes your fatigue. That's how it works, don't ask me why. So that's why I'm taking a shower, not only to bring my fatigue down, but because I want it to be clean when I get out of here. I want to meet a nice pretty lady and start my life anew. That's just a wish. That's a dream, not coming true. Because once I get out of here, I'm gonna commit another crime and get into the new prison called Fort Bamford. Not with Chuck Norris at least. We're gonna leave, let Chuck Norris, if things go right. And ladies and gentlemen, we're gonna play a new character. Who is that? I don't care, I'm gonna leave here my butt turning to you. How do you like that? Chop chop! That's what I say, chop chop. Let's put this into practice. I still wanna see who's gonna have a self search. Not us! So we are kinda secure. Are you ready? The moment is now. It starts now. Let's do this! Bad dummy, right over there. Let's get to our secret place. Oh my god. I'm fine, I'm fine. 20 guard heat is nothing. We are all fine. Now, one could think that they're gonna notice my absence. But they don't, because we left there the bad dummy. So we are all fine. We already attended the roll call. And that's the only thing you need to do to be there a couple seconds so that they don't bust you. So I'm gonna pick the remaining items. So I want this to be the first, this to be the second, this to be the third, and these. Okay, it's time. It's time. Lights out. Nobody knows we're here. And the cells have been locked, as you could hear. From down here, the tunnel, I don't know how that's possible, but let's dig up. This is a stressing, stressing moment, ladies and gentlemen. Please prepare. Can you see 20% each time and it only spends 2%? This is amazing. This multi-tool is amazing. Now, we're gonna have to be a little bit lucky. We're gonna have to be very, very quick. And I have no idea when the Jeep is passing through, so we're gonna have to be very lucky. Let's see. We're out! There we go. Dirt over there. Nothing happened. And here's what happened in the jungle compound. You cannot get out of here. There's only one escape. Down south. We must go there with the signed papers. So far, we are safe. There's no way they're gonna bust us. But now, I'm gonna, gonna wait for the jeep to pass by. So that we play even safer. There we go. That's the jeep. That's the one we must avoid. Now, let's get to the north part. In this room over here. That's where they store the unsigned papers. Oh my god, that was very lucky. Now I could do one of two things. I could either use this multi-tool to go through the wall, or I can just use this red key. Because I'm some kind of genius, and I knew beforehand that we had a red lock over here. No! It was you guys that spoiled me. But I am thankful. I mean... Why waste any more time, right? Chuck Norris is about to get out of here. It should He should be out of here by now. Let's get the unsigned papers. Now, it's time to sign those papers. Unsigned papers, exotic feather, which is what we're gonna use as a pen, even though I think it would be pretty easy to find a pen all over the prison. Jar of ink, here we go. ID papers, ladies and gentlemen. Shh. We're gonna do right now is using our use in bolt skills and run down south. Trying to avoid the jeep at the same time. Let's do it. Going through all this forest, all this jungle, and bugs, and lions, and tigers out there. Can you hear them? I can hear an elephant once in a while. Now, if you go all around the prison, I don't think there's anything else out there. 
I am actually curious, so I'm gonna see. You can either go left or right. There's nothing here for you. There's only... Oh lord, that's the jeep. We want to avoid that. We can't go through this forest. It's not possible. <coughs> Papers, please. How do you... How do you... How do you... Wait, how do you... Have a good day! Da -da -da -da. Glorious! Glorious moment! Mom! I'm back from the jungle! <laughs> you have escaped Jungle Block! Wasn't it Jungle Compound? I'm confused. Days taken! 24! That's a lie! I didn't use the full day of 24, just a little bit of the night. That's not fair. Average guard heat, 45%. I'm not surprised. I did so much bull crap, and the guards were always on me. 45% is a lot, but I'm not surprised. Playtime, 410 minutes. I could have done it in 10 minutes, okay? I just wanted to try new stuff. That's about it. Score 500. Ladies and gentlemen, I hope you enjoyed one more season with the escapists in the jungle compound and with the infamous Chuck Noor. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and I hope you are as th thrilled as I am to, to start the new season. Season number six at Fort Bamford. With what character you will see? That's a surprise I have for you. Thank you for all your support. And I'll see you on the next season. Bye-bye. Chuck Norris and Asparagine out. <laughs>